How to create multiple streams of passive income. It is time to boost your income this year. There has never been a better time or opportunity in this market to create multiple streams of income passively. This way you can get money while you sleep, while you're at the beach, while you're doing whatever it is that you wanna do. It's all possible. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it. Let's go. I'm gonna share with you the fastest and easiest way to create passive income, multiple streams. Again, this is not from you doing anything, no going to anyone's job, no doing anything, passive income only. I'm gonna share with you some secret ways that you can copy success or model success so that you do not have to create anything new to get these sources of income. And then I'm gonna share with you the number one mistake that most people make and why they never create multiple streams of income, but how you, can avoid that. So passive income. Passive income is money that comes from activities that you do not have to earn any money. So most people make money from what? Going to work, going to a job, doing a service. Those are definitely things that you can do to make money, but those are not considered passive income. Passive streams of income really should consist of things like royalties or things that you're selling online that you don't necessarily have to do anything. And I'm gonna tell you lots of different ways where you can start to create passive sources of income. But the one thing that I need you to know and understand before we could ever get started down this path is that this is not a short-term plan. This is a long-term plan. I literally add sources of income to my revenue every single month. There's probably a new source or stream of revenue added to my business every single month and I'm continually looking for ways to add additional streams of passive income to my business. And basically once you have a stream of revenue and you have your core thing that you do, you can start to easily find complementary things that you do that add in different streams. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it, but just know this is a long-term plan. You will continually add in streams of income. This is not a short-term thing that you do. You just create five streams and then go. No, if you have five, then you're gonna add six, seven, eight, and it will go on into infinity. You will never stop adding streams of revenue. So now let's talk about real estate investing. Real estate investing has been a game changer, has been life-changing for me. I was able to start investing in real estate and that is how I became a real estate entrepreneur and a real estate millionaire. I basically was able to acquire lots of different rental properties that make me a good income. I've also been able to sell off those properties year after year. I sell a few of them and I keep my income well over a million dollars a year all by doing real estate. But the one thing that is different between just investing in real estate and buying real estate is thinking like a real estate investor. As a real estate investor, I really started to focus on things much differently. When I first got into real estate, I was doing some fixing and flipping. I thought I was a real estate investor because I was fixing and flipping homes. Boy, was I wrong. I literally had a full-time job while I was trying to do some of these fix and flips on the side. And honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. So when the market crashed in 2009, I lost everything, ended up bankrupt, foreclosed, and in my parents' basement. Ugh. So long story short, I was able to turn that around though by starting to change my mindset. I ended up getting a real estate coach that taught me about wholesaling, how to be a problem solver, how to market to people, and how to buy properties better. Instead of just going out and finding properties that I thought were good deals or I found an MLS or a real estate agent told me they were a good deal, he instead told me how to find people that were having property issues and would sell me their properties for pennies on the dollar. Basically, that was changing my life because I thought I needed these great properties and I needed to go get mortgages and I thought I needed to have lots of money and great credit in order to do this. But because I didn't have good credit and I had no money, I had to use what I had, which was just my mind. And with my mind, I used my story. Because I had been through foreclosure, I was able to easily speak to people that were going through foreclosure and explain to them the process and how I could help them avoid it altogether. So this is how I started investing in real estate, and this is how real estate investing can be the key to your multiple stream of income. Let me tell you how. So when we're talking about creating multiple streams of income, real estate investing is an awesome way. Let me tell you how I started and what he taught me, because I'm just telling you something that someone taught me, I did it and you can do it too. He taught me a concept called deal compounding. 
So like I said, when I first started back in real estate investing as a person with a foreclosure, with multiple foreclosures, bankruptcy, terrible credit, no money, ah, just bad, I didn't have anything I could really rely on. So with real estate investing, he taught me deal compounding. He said, let's start with wholesaling. Because you have bad credit and you don't have any money, let's go ahead, let's target some people that have, um, you know, that are going through foreclosure, go ahead and write those contracts, and then let's flip those contracts to other investors for a fee. He told me how much to charge. I was making $5,000, $10,000 for each of those deals. I couldn't even believe it. Like I said, I had been fixing and flipping properties before in Atlanta, so I thought I knew what I was doing. But the problem is I never knew about buying properties off market. I never knew about finding people that were having issues or how to get those properties at a good deal. And this is where the multiple streams of income comes in. Because I started marketing and finding all of these different leads, not all of them were good for wholesaling. Okay, so he told me send out letters to people that were behind on their mortgage payments. So that's what I did. But many times I would get calls back and sometimes the people had the money to catch up their mortgage payments and they needed to be put with a real estate agent because their house was in good condition. It was fine and they had the money to catch the payments up. Well, guess what? I was still able to make money off of those deals. I basically hooked myself up with a real estate agent and they started paying me marketing fees for all of those people that I sent to them. Boom, second stream of income. Let me go and keep going with it. Then I started getting you know, some deals and I had some money. So he said, well, why are you still doing wholesaling? Now you can get into fixing and flipping. So then I started fixing and flipping the right way. So that became a stream of revenue. So some of the deals I would keep and I would do fix and flips on, some of them I continued to wholesale. Like if I was busy or I didn't have it or it was a house that was going on or I already was doing a fix and flip, I would just wholesale that property and still get my $5,000 to $10,000 fee. I was getting money from real estate agents on the nice houses, and then I was fixing and flipping houses, and I was getting um, that money. So now we have multiple streams of income going. Let's keep going with this. Then I start getting rental properties. People really wanted to see what I had done, and then people were even asking to see my fix and flips. So what did I do? I started putting together little tours. I rented a van and I would show people my fix and flips. And people were paying me $500 just to see my properties. But I would share with them. I would tell them everything. I would tell them how much I paid for it, how much the contractor cost, what the materials I used. I would tell them the mistakes that I made and then how not to make those mistakes. I would tell them all of the things I did right and even the things that I did wrong so that they could avoid those same mistakes and they would be better off because of it. And it was valuable information for people, so they paid me. That was another stream of income. Again, I'm selling those fix and flips. I'm gonna make money off of it. And now I have people paying me just to see them. So these were just more streams of revenue. Let me keep going. So then, of course, people are asking me to mentor them, start coaching them. So then I start coaching people. That's a stream of revenue. Then I couldn't coach everybody, so I wrote a couple of books. That's a stream of revenue. Then people were like, hey, why don't you make videos and go on YouTube? And I'll tell you, you're probably watching this on YouTube, but I was so reluctant to come to YouTube. It took me years before I ever made it put a video out, but now I do. I make lots of content for YouTube, and guess what? I get money from that as well. I have a podcast now. I have so many different streams of revenue. All of the things that I do brings me in all of these streams of revenue and many of them are done while I sleep, doesn't require me to do anything, plus I still have my rental properties. Hopefully you got a lot of great information. I make sure I shared everything with you all. If you want more information, I have created a complete free course. It's at noellesfreetraining.com. There's a link below, again, noellesfreetraining.com. It's a full training on my complete formula on how I invest in real estate, make big profits without losing money. You can get that course for free at noellesfreetraining.com. I just wanna make sure you have all of the necessary tools, resources, and knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.